Blender Bros, it's all about creating sci-fi hard surface models in Blender as efficiently as possible. Now you can create these models using different tools because models can have different purposes. For example, you can use angles and booleans, you can use sculpting, or you can use subdivision surface modeling. There are other techniques as well. Now all these techniques are basically tools needed to create a specific topology or specific model for a specific purpose. Today we're going to be creating this model using sub-D techniques, but we're also going to be using add-ons and booleans and combine everything together into a very efficient and interesting workflow. Let's go! Now we're not going to start with a cube, we're going to start with a plane. So we're going to add a plane. I could start with a cube, but it's actually quite interesting to start with a flat shape in this case because we can uh, create an outline of it and then extrude it. So I'll show you in a minute. So S, X and hold control to snap it. I'm going to scale it on X. Now I'm going to be using add-ons and if you, you know, very, very, very new to Blender, you're probably going to be a bit confused. So, you know, stick around and keep watching because you will learn a lot. But uh, nonetheless, I would suggest you grab our free course for beginners in Blender. It's for people who don't even know how to move a cube, okay? And in just a few hours, you're going to learn all the foundations, all the tools, all the basics of hard surface, you know, rendering, etc. right? So go ahead and grab it. The link is in the video description. And this course helped over 80,000 people. And it's the best and the fastest way to start Blender hard surface right now, okay? Going back to our tooth here, I'm I'm going to be using hard ops, box cutter, mesh machine, machine tools, you know, all the tools I need in order to work as fast as, as you know, as efficiently as possible. And if you want to be a professional and you want to start working and making money with Blender, I suggest you start using add-ons because otherwise you're going to get left behind, okay? Don't be one of those morons who say, oh, I'm going to use AI because it's bad. Dude, AI is coming, it's here. You fucking either adapt or you die, okay? That's how simple it's gonna be, all right? AI doesn't give a shit and adults don't give a fuck about how you feel. People who wanna be efficient are gonna be using all the tools they need to get the job done as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. That's it, right? So anyway, we're gonna be cutting this with um, box cutter. I'm gonna show you how to do it in vanilla though, so you know, don't worry. So we're gonna be using a box cutter here, press K for knife, slice it. Go to edit mode here and alt text with mesh machine to symmetrize it. Now, if you're doing this in vanilla blender, what you want to do is grab a knife, click here, press A for straight angle, you know, cut an angle here like this, right? To an edge, press space, and then select everything, go to mesh, symmetrize, and there you go. You just have to choose a correct axis and boom, right? So we're going to grab this edge here, press E, Y and extrude it. Okay, and we're gonna grab these two faces, press F to combine them into one face, so we have this kind of a shape. Now, if you're using Vanilla Blender, you will need to apply scale, because when you press N, you will see that the X scale is different since we scaled it on X axis. But because we use hard ups and box cutter, uh, this scale was reset upon cutting the mesh. But if you're not using uh, add-ons, press Ctrl A in mesh mode, so in, in solid view, Press Ctrl A and apply scale, okay, to reset it. That's important because we're gonna be using uh, adding bevels here to the corners. And if you don't do that, if your scale is distorted, uh, so will be the bevels, okay. So Shift Ctrl B um, to bevel this and scroll twice to get um, the nice round corners. Symmetrize to the other side and you're good to go. Now we're gonna select everything, press E to extrude it and then select this face E and X one more time and make sure that this face is a little bit thicker than this one, okay? And there we go. Now we can see that there's a problem with shading here and the reason why this is happening is because we have Auto Smooth On turned on by Hard Ops and Box Cutter. Now if you don't use these add-ons, you will need to right click and shade Auto Smooth, okay, your mesh. It's gonna shade it smooth and also add auto smooth now the reason why this edge is sharp is because auto smooth tells blender that every single edge above 30 degrees should be sharp and i'm guessing that this edge is just being caught here okay so what we need to do is we make sure that this edge or the auto smooth value is larger than the angles here so you can either do it here right or you can just simply press q with hard ups hold shift and click on sharpen and click and you're done and it's gonna set the auto smooth to a perfect value here 
just simply adding uh, five degrees, right? And this will, you know, solve our problem with bevels. We also need a cut here, but you know what? We can do this. Uh, we can do this later. Okay, I wouldn't worry about it right now. So for now, I would just, you know, um, worry about the top here. So what we want to do here, we want to add a cut here. Now the the cut should have enough edges. Now we will need we will need edge here to support this corner because we're gonna have a bevel here running like this after sub D is added and we need to have a loop here going around so we need a, a three quads around this corner that's one okay so we need uh, three quads here like this secondly what we need is edge here to support this bevel uh, because when we subdivide this and there's going to be a long gap here and the topology is going to be uneven you're gonna get stretching and this bevel is gonna get stretched and um, this whole edge is gonna kind of collapse in and it's gonna flatten this bevel so if you want to maintain this bevel uh, quality you know of this um, curvature you want to support this bevel from outside so we're gonna drop another loop here in the middle because we will need it and another um, edge here we might actually need one more here and maybe one more here we'll see so you know that's uh, that should do um so we, we need a fairly dense you know a fairly dense um circle cut in here okay so let's go with something like 28 now i want to cut this in the middle so let me just first symmetrize these edges to the other side alt x so the mesh is symmetrical turn on this feature here with hard ops uh with box cutter it's a snap dot so when i go to solid view and hold control i can see uh, dots on my come on dots on my mesh which will basically guide my cuts into the middle or middle of edge or middle of face or middle of whatever so you know it's gonna be symmetrical so when I symmetrize this mesh to the other side the circle the, the circle cuts are gonna get distorted right so let's go to D menu switch to circle hold control and drag it from here press X to switch to cut and now hold shift and adjust the number of segments until you see 28 drag it down hold shift and click gy and move it up now if your circle is a bit too big you can go to orthographic view uh, top view press s shift z and scale it a bit we want to make a bit more space here because we're going to be insetting this uh, and then we can move it to a collection of cutters which was created automatically by hard ops and box cutter so press shift 2 if you don't have this uh, simply click on the cutter, press M, new collection, name it cutters, and make sure it's number two. So when you press shift two, you can turn it on and off, okay? And also we could move this plane to actually send the collection good. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to apply this. So let's go to um, Alt, click on ever scroll, which will apply the Boolean. And if you don't have add-ons, just apply it in here. Simply, you know, apply the bevel, I mean the Boolean. And now we need to... Um, Kind of connect this uh all these dots so let's create this edge here in the middle again connect it in here with j and probably gonna create another edge here like this and connect these and let's keep going let's see if we actually have enough here we don't so we can actually create a diamond here that's fine so we're gonna quad like this it's also even better because this edge comes at the angle that sort of corresponds with the with this edge curvature here and we have one more which is perfect so we can add one more edge here to create a bit more even topology and you know this looks really uh, decent it's great we can connect these two and these two and don't worry about these we're going to be running edges down the line i'll take to the other side and also turn off this feature here in a machine a mesh machine so it's going to create this edge in the middle we actually need it in this case so you know uh, let's keep it there cool and don't worry about the bottom yet because we're going to be cutting it out so i wouldn't worry about it we could actually remove this let me just turn off this, these dots um and we could actually select these here and dissolve vertices right to clean it up a bit okay cool so now what I want to do is I want to grab this and I want to inset it. This is important because what you want to do is you want to have loops around 
um, any bevel that you might be running right so we have a bevel here and bevel here if I didn't have it and I kept this connection here like that so you see that there is a uh, there are two verts coming out of this edge if I'm going to bevel this manually you see what's gonna happen we're gonna get this distortion you see the distortion so if I'm gonna subdivide it as is we will need some supporting loops but you can see here there's a really nasty distortion in this place the reason for that is because we have a pole in here so we have a vert with either three or more than four edges coming out of it okay we have two or four it's fine but we have three or five or more it's a problem so what we want to do is you know for this and other reasons we want to inset that now the inset should be the thickness here of this inset of this loop will be corresponding with the size of the bevel so the larger the, the distance between these two edges the softer the bevel is going to be so if i run another loop here in the bottom which by the way should be the same size or the same width right then when i'm going to subdivide this you'll see i'm going to get this nice bevel and when i'm going to be moving these edges closer the bevel is going to get tighter and tighter yeah so that's how it works okay so we need a loop there and we're also going to need a loop here okay so Control r and that loop here right cool so let's save it because you know we don't want it to crash uh peachy now going back to this corner i told you we will need um these three quads here to create a loop but before we do that let's actually insert it as well because we will need to insert this as well here and uh, we will need another loop uh, going here underneath so what we can do is split that one uh, into two loops and do something like this because we will need one more on the bottom as well although we're going to be cutting this mesh here so you know what let's just remove this one for now uh, we need this one now in this corner if i'm going to subdivide it like this you're going to have nasty distortions and pulls and the reason for that is simply the topology is a, it's a little bit uh well it's not supporting really this uh, this corner now what you want to do around corners and in places with bevels you want topology to wrap around this topology doesn't wrap around what i mean by that is that if i click here the loop goes around doesn't really turn down here okay the, the loop should be redirected down so it wraps around this corner and this is really important so redirecting loops and sub d is a big thing and you're gonna have to learn to uh, do it quite efficiently so here what we can do is um, run something like this here and grab a knife and cut it like this and here as well grab a knife and cut it like this like here okay then we can remove these two edges all right let's just dissolve this edge here dissolve there we go and we need to fix this corner because you know this quad here is super massive and this is not good so we're going to connect these two now let's make them straight click this one shift click this one and alt a and to the left this is an align tool with machine tools you can enable it under preferences it's align pi and um, if you want to learn more about machine tools and how to use it you know just simply watch my video okay i have two massive videos on that which explains every single goddamn tool in this add-on here let's grab these uh three and the line to this one's so alt and left it's gonna be straight line perfect and we can remove this edge and now we got quads everywhere and this is gonna subdivide very nicely so uh, see that it's very beautiful clean subdivision here so there we go this one is a little bit too big here but we're gonna fix it in the future so you know don't worry about it now now here uh we can combine these two technically yeah that's cool we can combine these two and we can combine these two right? so we got quads everywhere here which is perfect we need another loop here so what we could do is just slice this like this with a with a box cutter and it's gonna create a loop across because you can't cut loops on mesh you know that isn't made of quads but you can always use a knife to cut it through if you don't have a uh, hard ups and box what you can what you can do is you can press k you can press you can you can click here press c then press a c for cut through 
click on the last edge and, and you're gonna cut through as well okay so this is how you go around it okay now uh, let me see now here we're gonna have to run these edges somehow so let's combine these two let's run another cut in here like this select this one and this one and alt a to align it and uh, we will need probably two more cuts in here like this and we have one two three edges in here so oh wait a minute this is an end gone so what we could do is actually connect this one here and connect this one here like this all right and then we got two more edges here which is perfect okay sweet so we sorted we could add another loop here but if i'm gonna add a loop like this you can see that it's actually looping in here and this will distort you don't want to add any more edges or slide these edges around because it's going to distort the curvature of the circle so what you want to do instead is maybe run a loop from here so let me see let's just uh let's remove this edge for a second run, run a loop here and then connect this one um, then alt x to the other side run a loop here so subdivide you can subdivide this one run a loop here and then simply connect these here like this these two and we're going to slide this up we can even turn it into a circle if you wanted to but i think this is fine and then we're going to run another loop here from here so i'm going to click here press c press a go here and go here and go like this okay and then alt x so we have a loop here and let's just drop it down drop it down here like this and we could add one more loop in here to be honest now there is a triangle here so we can do is do something like this and we're gonna have a quad in here and all tags and we sort it so this kind of worked out pretty well for us so we got quads oh wait a minute there's an end gun in here so we gotta fix this so in this case let's actually run this loop up here and combine it and run cut here so this is going to be a triangle now which is not a big deal because we can fix this let's go to occlude select this one move it a little bit here select this one move it a bit here run a loop here and we sort it and there we go and to the other side and this should be this should be peachy so we got more or less you know even topology quads everywhere unless i'm missing something and uh, we good to go is this is then gone or we could do is combine these and do that and this will solve the problem there we go so now we got quads everywhere i think and we're good to go and everything is peachy cool so here let's just uh, run a cut from from this so k and press c and you know cut it in here and cut it down here okay and we're gonna align it let me just uh select these shift select that boom alt x and combine these two so we got quads here and then we can run loops here so we have nice topology here and then we have to connect this one right so we have one two three four edges one two three four i think it should be enough one two three four yeah so let's run four edges and just simply combine them Oh, 
Okay, all text, and then we can combine these. Right, and combine these. Combine these two. You can turn off the box cutter in edit mode. Now here, you can see that we have a quad and we have we have to connect these and then we have we need one more agent here so i'll connect these two altex and then we have to connect these ones as well but we're gonna be cutting this so i wouldn't worry about this at the moment because we're gonna be cutting this side anyway so we can add more edges in here and we're done so now here we need to cut this one so we can do it in edit mode so we can actually see how we're cutting i will cut it up to here to actually keep some topology on this side and ever scroll that and then so now run the bevel here and click and press space now you're gonna create double edges in here so we need to remove them so let me see that gg and slide it down and press 3 to clean it and it should be fine so now we have this situation here which we need to fix um, we need to create an edge flow here so now let's select this entire um, bit here all of it right and delete no, not vertices delete uh, faces right okay now we're going to symmetrize it down like this right so symmetrize that now we got a bit of a problem here i think uh, let me see that let me dissolve this let me just remove the faces oh interesting let's click there press l and delete it Press three to clean it, there you go. And then we can close this with faces. I don't know what happened over there, but uh, there you go. So we got that and we need to, uh, let's remove this edge here. So dissolve edge. And we're going to select these and we need to inset it, okay? So let's just inset it. We could actually inset it all around. So like this, don't just select all of it, just we're gonna I mean, you know, symmetrize it. Press I for insert. And we're going to create this tighter bevel here, okay? So tighter bevel, right? And we don't really need these two edges, so dissolve them. Um, and now we need to connect this uh, topology here. So connect it in here like that. And we're going to create one, two, three edges. Connect it here and Bob Janko, right? There we go, and I'll take it to the other side, and everything should be peachy. So now we need to, you know, we need to save this because reasons, and we're gonna work on the inside. Now, if you know, you can't really see very well here inside, but what you can do is you can go to occlude with machine tools, you can press B, and you can select the bottom, and you can hide it in edit mode, right? So you can't really see that, and you can easily work on this now. So here we're going to go to edit multi-tool, uh, so this J, click, click, why is it not working, what the fuck, that's weird, okay, it's capricious, so we're going to do it manually, um, let's connect this, and then do a diamond here, and we could actually run another diamond here dissolve this and connect it in here like this and what we will need to do is we will need to inset it so let's unhide it in edit mode we're going to select all this. So the inside, right? And let's create a similar edge here, distance like here, right? 
so a bit smaller than the one on the top okay and that should do so now again go to occlude press b um hide the bottom part turn off pass through and uh let's just uh, keep working on that wait a minute what the hell happened here one more time occlude b h there you go turn off auto merge cool so now we can connect the rest here so let's just start connecting these okay and we will need quite a few edges in here one hang on a second one two three four and this could be connected here like this this could be connected here this is gonna be a diamond hang on a second we also need a support here how did you lose this loop here i don't know but we're gonna fix it um we could move this one here gg and move it in here j and move it like that okay perfect so that will do it's a bit of stretching here but it's fine because it's a flat surface you don't have to worry about it so we could connect these ones and these this is really steep but that's fine it's not really not a big problem you're gonna connect this one here um and then we have one here j and then one two three four i think so one here one here and i think two more and there you go now this is not really super evenly spaced but honestly like i said it doesn't matter it's inside you can't see it so you could kind of you know finesse this a little bit here but it doesn't matter now here we could run another loop around just like on the top And move these ones a bit gg here what the hell there we go and here we will need we will need a subdivision and connect it here and just create a diamond and i think the rest is fine you could, you know, you could um, use relax feature here from loop tools like this, right? You could also use spacing if you wanted to, but it, honestly, it doesn't really, you know, doesn't really matter that much in here. Um, like I said, it's on the bottom. Same here, you know, you could use a spacing. So, you know, spacing, so space it evenly here, yeah. It's gonna equalize this a little bit, okay. Make it a bit more uniform, okay. So it's not so bunched up. This could be slightly here, and there you go. I'll take to the other side, and we're good to go. And I'll take to the bottom, and you're done. And then press three just to clean on the bullshit. And we should be fine so let's see how we're looking uh, let's just apply subdivision control 2 and you see it looks really clean right it looks really clean now we do need a loop here uh, to tighten this uh, edge here we have a loop in the bottom that's perfect everything looks peachy cool now here in the middle gonna have some fun so let's just press e 
right click to cancel alt s and scale it in s z in fact you know what i'm gonna do it on both of these so well so select these two loops and control b then e cancel alt s s z like this and then actually change it to individual origins so they're gonna scale individually not towards one another add a loop here okay add a loop here add a loop here and add a loop here and then we're gonna select them all with shift and alt okay so hold shift and alt select multiple loops control b and we're gonna tighten it and then gonna grab a loop here and here Select them both, Shift Alt, Control B to make these edges a bit tighter. This looks pretty cool. And here, you know, we could create another feature. So we could do it in perspective. I mean, not to graphic mode. You could scale it outside. Okay, so we could, uh, you know, just the top one. I can't be bothered with it. You know, I can always mirror this. So scale it out here. So we have more room for selection. We're gonna inset it like this. Right? Then extrude it up. Well, I'm going to turn off this fucking subdivision because that's really slowing down. Blender is fucking giving up here. Okay, so insert it. Then extrude it. And insert it. And we're gonna add a loop here. Loop here and loop on the outside. And then we're gonna subdivide it. It's gonna be like a really cool, um, sort of a tight lip. Okay, looks really nice. We're gonna mirror this to the other side. Boom, and we're good to go. Now, you know, here in the back, uh, we could create another feature. It's gonna be really easy. Just follow the topology. Usually, what you wanna do is you don't wanna follow the topology because it's gonna create boring shapes, predictable shapes. But in this case, it's fine. We're gonna inset it a little bit. Okay, and then inset it one more time. Okay, then we're gonna drop it down like this. Okay, inset it again. And, uh, you know, Bob uncle like this. And, you know, in the side here, we can create another feature as well. So we can grab this one. Uh, we're gonna mirror it, to don't worry about it. Um, I'm gonna inset it here. Inset it one more time. Then E and extrude it, Alt S. Okay, and now we need to sharpen this one here. Okay, so what you could do, you could just add the loop here like this, right? Now you see that this edge now is running across the shape, right? And it's adding kind of a denser topology here. So if you want to avoid this, what you could do is you could run something called a diamond here too. So you could redirect four edges into uh, two edges into one. So what you want to do here is you want to merge stuff like this. Okay, so merge it in here. And then maybe not the best idea here. Merge it in here and merge it in here. And then you collapse this edge on this one. So here, and press three to remove it. And then you have, uh, and then you remove this edge. So dissolve it. And then you got a quad here. And just GG and move it in here. And you have this edge here in the middle, right? So GG, move it in the middle. And you can move these ones a bit closer, okay? Like this. Right. So you kind of, uh, you know, you, you're swapping two edges into one. So you could do that, and then we can move this one a little bit here, like this, right? And this is perfectly fine because we have this loop here, which is all quads, and then we have, uh, you know, the diamond here on the in the middle. So it doesn't really matter. Then I'll text to the other side, and you know, you're good to go. So you could do that, and the same thing here, right? You could do the same thing if you wanted to, or uh, we could actually do it in here. Uh, boom, boom. Dissolve this edge, move it up, right? And dissolve these two, and then move this one closer here. Okay then all text to the other side so this will create um, quads everywhere but uh, you know less topology basically okay 
can align this one here and there you go now if you want to let me see that uh, that looks fairly decent here we could actually you know move this loop a little bit further away i think to relax this a bit gg maybe a bit more see like when you push these loops away this bevel becomes more supple here on the top yeah so there you go i'll take to the other side so this corner is a bit more supple looks really cool everything's okay now um to build the the last thing it's really easy just grab a plane move it just move it somewhere here in the middle and go to avert mode shift one with machine tools we can move this vert to the middle here but you know i'm gonna do it later so here easy e and you can hold control e y and then e over here easy alt text select everything as z to scale it and then apply scale select these points shift control b uh, i think three points gonna be enough don't make them too dense because it's gonna be difficult to subdivide it and then we're going to uh, run a uh, curve extract that's the one on this one and we're going to move it here and adjust the curve a bit thicker there we go and now let's apply this to uh, visual mesh to geo and let's see see they're actually quite close so i'm going to move them with alt r now this is a tool from paid version of machine tools but you don't have it you can just slide them like this with gg grab this loop here and move it manually in to kind of you know fix this uh, curvature here this one is fine now what we need to do is we need to add loops here in between to create even topology right otherwise you're gonna get stretching so remember that okay or you could simply add loops um close to these bevels like this right so you can do either or i'm just gonna add them everywhere because it's fine doesn't really matter right and then control three and shade auto smooth and boom right and then I'm going to rotate this. Now, if you want to rotate it around this um, opening, select this cut, shift S with machine tools and cursor to edge. Then we're going to switch pivot to cursor, select this one, RZ, and boom. And then you just uh, grab it and just remove this. Grab a plane, move it in here, switch back to individual regions. Supply scale because we want to sub uh, we want to solidify it a bit. There we go. Grab both parts, you know, and uh, we need to rotate them around the cursor so they rotate together. Drop them down so that the rest of the floor like this, and you know Bob Jungle. And the texturing is really easy, guys. If you want to use, um, you know, easy textures, just use our add-on, which is called Material Works. Link in the video description. Go here to our website, blenderbrows.com forward slash products. And here we can add coated titanium. Here we can add, I don't know, let's say half mud steel. And here we can add a floor. Maybe not this one. Maybe this one's going to be better. Now here we could add some decals as well, if you wanted to. Uh, let's say i don't know this one for example uh, let me just switch it to individual regions scale it move it in here adjust it and uh, drop it somewhere here. project it go to mods drop the alpha a little bit so it's not so poking and you know and you're good to go then you grab a camera page it down with machine tools View the cam, change perspective to, I mean, the focal length, maybe 85 is going to be a bit more interesting. Lock the view, hold control, hold your middle mouse button, adjust the, um, adjust the uh, angle so you can actually see this object pretty well. Something like that. G, Shift, Z, move the plane, page down, 
unlock from view and uh, all you need to do is change the lighting now we're going to be using hdri uh, that comes with the material works add-on it's actually from the pack by alex sancho uh, so you know i suggest you grab that fantastic um he has fantastic hdri so we have permission to distribute them with the add-on few of them so you know go ahead and get it uh let's just go with gradient b then rotate it a bit something like that then let's just add the plane a reflector to mitigate this uh, dark shadow here so let's rotate it make it larger add some mud to it preferably a white one move it closer and bob your uncle all right guys well that's it hope you enjoyed the toot hope you picked up some interesting tips on sub d and if you again if you want to uh, learn basics of blender and uh, you know especially hard surface like i said we have a free course called jumpstart hard surface in blender the link is in the video description like i told you eighty thousand over eighty thousand people uh, already went through that course and they absolutely love it it's gonna give you a nice push at the start you know, within a few hours, like a day or two, you can start understanding Blender and it's not going to be so intimidating. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.